Well, all of the equipment's out. All of the paint and supplies. It's time. It's time to paint Stevie again. And we had a huge project in the spring uh, on our way home from Florida. Uh, we stopped in Tennessee in this huge rainstorm and it created a waterfall inside the van. And we found out that's when the back of the van where the AC is located. Back here, all of this had rotted out. Like the roof had rotted through and it finally made its way right through in that storm. When we came back, it was like February, um, early March, I should say, and the weather was still too cold to actually work on the van outside and get anything to work, like to get silicone to seal or anything. This is actually here, all the splatter is from black silicone sealant we put in, and then it got too cold and it never solidified, and we got a rainstorm and it all just sprayed out. So in the end, to fix this thing, because our cap was starting to delam, it was starting to come off, and this like drainage trough here for the water or the rain when you're driving it had started to rust through the into the roof because water would sit in here so we bought uh, some fiberglass tape and resin and we literally as you can see there's the fiberglass tape we, we literally just sealed like fiberglass to the cap to the body all the way along wow what a chore so it looks pretty good. There's a couple of tiny rust spots coming through, so I'm gonna grind those out tomorrow. But to make sure we have no more leaks, because that is the, the van is ruined if there's another leak. <laughs> to make sure there's no more leaks, I'm gonna uh, tape off all the windows and I've got uh, leak seal spray. It's this rubber spray and it's done wonders on the van so far. We used it uh, to fix part of the back and it works great. So, sorry, leak stop. Leak seal's another brand. And we're gonna use this and uh, I'm going to go around all the windows, every opening with leak seal and reseal the whole van before we paint it this year. Well, I better get to work. day two of our annual Stevie repair and the last couple years the repairs have been getting more intense especially due to that massive leak so I did accomplish quite a bit yesterday I managed to leak seal around all of the windows and leak seal is just a rubberized spray but it gets into every little nook and cranny I put a couple coats of leak seal on the repair between the cap and the van body that we made and then two coats of this bed liner because we want this to be pretty rock solid and then, of course, the dreaded AC area where the main leak happened. And we got about an, about an eighth to a quarter inch of rubber that I have put down on here now. And it looks pretty shitty right now. But don't you worry, once we paint this all gray again, uh, it'll look just fine once we put the screens back on. And at this point, with a 23-year-old van, if you think we care about exactly how pristine it looks, not at all. We just want this thing to keep taking us on road trips and keep us dry when the weather's bad outside. All right, lots to do today still, so uh, better get to work. I gotta grind out some few little rust spots and put a bit of Bondo in and clean that up. And uh, right now I think I'll put one more coat of leak seal on the front three windows. Because hey, why not? Let's just make sure that I do it right this time. So once it's painted, it lasts the year with no leaks. So there's been a tiny bit of overspray onto the window itself. I don't care. As long as the leak is sealed, 
we're happy. This isn't really a window that we spend a lot of time looking out of. And a little bit of clear rubber coat on the window won't really affect the amount of light coming in. So let's just make sure she gets done right. In all not too bad today not too many repairs to make um, this is the biggest one and actually that was just a dent because somebody uh, sideswiped us on the highway so every time I do the body work I try and fill out the dent a bit more so that it starts to look more like the natural uh, curvature of the van body but really just a couple small spots and all taken care of but uh, weather radar says some rain coming in so I'm gonna have to wait an hour or two probably to sand everything down. That's it though, sand it down, put a quick coat of primer on all of the uh, Bondo patches and then I'm gonna prime up all the spots that I leak proofed and sprayed. And then we are ready to do the full paint. All right, I guess time for a coffee break while I wait for the rain to pass over and then I can get this thing sanded up. So as always, just an enormous job to get this thing done. That spanned three days. I put in about six hours a day for three days. But now that the fiberglass work's done and all of the repair work of the leak is over, I'm hoping this will be pretty standard going forward when Chris and I painted in the spring. But uh, yeah, the two of us came out here, finished it off in about four hours. I was gonna do a time lapse of us painting the van, but of course, Got so into just getting the job done that I forgot to get the camera out. Anyway, let's show you the finished product. Stevie's got his new camouflage um, uh, fan cover on the roof and he's looking great with his fresh new paint job. And that's it, at least until the spring. Oh, can't wait.